so this is our FLIR V300 infrared thermographic camera. And this is basically the latest technology in home inspection. What it does is it reads the radiant heat energy off of objects. And to do a proper infrared scan, you need a basic 10 degrees difference in outside temperature to inside temperature. So what we're seeing here is we're seeing different colors, okay? And in the corners, you see it's a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. That's not a concern because what you've got in the corners, you've got your studs that butt up against each other. So you don't have as much insulation in the corners and also you don't have the airflow right. in the corners. When we get upstairs, we're going to scan all of the ceilings and look for, okay. of course, any dark spots where insulation may have been blown oh. away. Or, even if people walk through the attic and they step on the insulation, that compression reduces the R value and you can actually notice the footsteps oh, really? in the attic. Yes. Thing, as I was saying with water, is water evaporates. And if you remember from science, when a substance, a liquid is evaporating, it cools. So you can read cooling water, evaporating water, with the thermal imaging camera. But you have to understand that the pattern is different between water evaporating and air leakage. Right. Air leakage patterns are more wispy, okay? whereas water leakage is a more defined pattern, which if we see any, yeah. I'll let you know. Very interesting here, you can see the, how the drywall is warm. That's your heating ducts. Mm -hmm. And again, when you go through most houses, people don't take the plastic vapor barrier and seal it up between the floor joists. Right. Often the plastic vapor barrier will fall down. So you get some air leakage around the insulation between the floor joists. Okay, so we basically take the infrared camera across the bottom of the drywall in the basement, look for any visual anomalies. So it looks good. But just to verify, we have a moisture meter. So this is a digital moisture meter, gives you a digital readout. It sends an electronic signal two inches by two inches by half an inch deep into any flat surface. So here you can see the wood, very dry, 5%. Right? Here you can see the drywall is 1%, and here you can see people are 99%. Okay, so your science teacher was right, people are made up mostly of water. So just take the moisture meter along the bottom wall here and scan. Of course, we're looking for any unusual numbers. People always ask me, well, what's a bad number? Well, it's all relative to how much humidity is in the house to begin with. So in the summertime, you're going to have more humidity in the house. So you're going to expect the drywall to be more humid. But it's relative. So if up here we've got a 3% reading, down here we've got a 3% reading. So again, in the single digits should be normal. 